Good day, beloved. We are still in the business of reshaping the second half of the year. And thank God for yet another new week that the Lord has given unto us. Quickly, this moment, we are going to be praying. And I want to read a scriptural verse that concerns the prayer point that we will be raising this moment. And we are looking at Colossians chapter 2 and verse 14. Colossians chapter 2 and in verse 14. The scripture says, plotting out the handwriting of ordinance that was written against us, which was contrary to us, and took <clears throat> and took it out of the way, nailing it to his own, to his to his cross. Verse 15 said, and having spoiled principalities and power, he make a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. That is where we'll be taking our prayer point from this moment into as we as we begin to begin to pray. I want you to quickly know something before we pray. There are handwriting that are contrary to what God has in store for you, and what is tough for your family, what is tough for your loved ones. <clears throat> and that is why we are standing upon that promises that Christ has already plotted that out. He has, he has triumphed over them and he has made an open show of them. So, we are going to be making a demand and asking the Lord this time. There are three things that the enemy does. One is to put an, a, 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 an embargo on a man or a woman that he must not move above this level, which is also, also called limitation. There can be spiritual limitation on your finance. There can be spiritual... spiritual <coughs> excuse me. It can be spiritual limitation upon your finance. It can be on your health. It can be on your fit or on your on your, on your career. It can be on your children. It can be on your loved ones. These are the strategy that the enemy used to keep men and women in the same position. That's number one. Number two, what the enemy does is that sometimes they put a mark. They put a mark on you that so that wherever you go. You see that this thing became that is why you see some some some, some person at the time say ah I'm I'm being oppressed in this particular lo locality and he decided to travel to the other locality and when he traveled to that or, or, or another location he dis he, he discovered that the same oppression still continue what the enemy has done is that there is a mark that is on you that even though you are traveling to other community the the, the demonic oppression in that location has already seen. They mark on you and they have they have already marked you out for oppression. That is why you see that some people will leave from one community to another community, from one location to another community, traveling from state to state, traveling from nation to nation, all in the aim of safety and still they mark it on them. What you are praying about this morning is that Lord, let every limitation, every ever embargo over my finance, over my family be, be, be lifted. Number two, every mark, every seal. Of them, see the same thing that God does. The enemy take a did, did, normally do a counterfeit of it, and the Lord will put a mark upon you, Cain, that whosoever sees you, the, the whosoever sees you will, will not be able to, will not be able, to, able to destroy him. But the, the same, the same pattern is what the wicked one are doing, putting mark of evil, mark of evil upon people, and because of that, it, it is all to diverse kind of evil in their life. Number three, the, the, what the enemy does is to put on you a garment. <clears throat> a evil garment on you. When that evil garment is on you, when people see you, people that want to help you do not see you as somebody that they need that needs help. People that need to help you physically will see you as ah, it's, it's what to do. There's no need for me helping this person. And physically, and physically you are you are suffering and you are in pain and you need you they are in dire need of help. But because of that negative garment, wrong garment that's upon you, people will see and say that the helper will see this garment on you and say, Ah, this guy is looking more better than us. He's even doing well. What is the point of helping him? Is and another person is they will put a garment of wretchedness upon you that it no matter what they no matter what you say, people people that are supposed to help you, that are supposed to lead you up, find it difficult to understand to see that you can be helped. Because of the kind of requirement of wretchedness that is on you, they'll say, Ah, even though you help this one person, the person is, is cannot make it. This person cannot make it. These are two different kind of garments that the enemy put on someone. 
But today, as we begin to pray, because Christ has plotted it in Colossians chapter 2 and verse 18, and first and verse 14 and 15, the Lord Almighty, this moment, shall plot it out. Let's begin to open our mouth and begin to pray. I begin to appreciate God for yet another day like this, yet another awesome week, yet another moment to, to stand before the throne of mercy. Open your mouth and appreciate God. Give Him all the glory because none can be compared to Him. He's a great God. He saw us through the week and he brought us to a glorious morning like this a glorious monday morning open your mouth and appreciate him open your mouth and give him all the praise for all he has done blessed be your name O god for all you are you are God, you are not a man. You have never changed and you can never change. We bow in a submission, we bow in an acknowledgement, we bow in, in appreciation to all you have done for us. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for our battle that you have fighting over the night. Thank you for all you have been doing for us. Even in the day when we are alive, we are still fighting our battle. That is why we call you the defender of the defenseless. Lord, we worship you. We give you all the glory. You are the Almighty, you are the defender of the, the defender of the city, Haguna Chamber. Lord, we worship you, we give you all the glory. Blessed be your name, O God. Thank you for all you have done for us. Thank you for all you have done for us. But Lord, we are coming before you at this time. The blessings that you have made available. There are there are wicked ones, the unreasonable men, unreasonable women who are tempering with it. But Lord, we are come to take authority at this time to silence them. In in the name of Jesus. You're going to open your mouth at this very moment and say, oh Lord, let every limitation, every limitation, yeah, even Kai that tied. Jesus was speaking, he said, he said, every tree that is not planted by my father shall be uprooted. Every limitation around your finance, every limitation around your health, every embargo over your family and said, ah, they must not exceed this limit. They must not go beyond his name. You're going to pray and another. Oh Lord, let every limitation, let every limit around my life be broken. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before thee this very moment and I ask of you according to the victory, the triumphing victory that Christ has got guaranteed us 2,000 years ago on the cross of Calvary. I come to claim my victory. I come to claim my triumphing authority authority over every wicked one, over every every, every wicked limitation, satanic limitation, limitation placed over my life in my, over my bloodline, oh Lord, I pray, I break out of that limitation today. I break out of that limit today. Every embargo over my finances today, it is broken. It is broken. It is broken. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I, I journey in this second half of the year. No embargo, no limitation. You see, and this question, and ye shall break forth on all sides. Oh Lord, I declare, I I begin the second half of the year. Oh Lord, we decree today. Lord, I shall break forth on this left. I shall break forth on the right. I shall break forth forward. And I shall break forth forward. I will break forth to the north. Break forth to the south. Break forth to the east. And break forth to the west. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I decree. Let the fire from heaven come and consume every limit. Come and destroy every limit around my life. In the name of Jesus, every limit limit every embargo over my finance. There are people that has their embargo over your finance. I say, ah, you must not you must your, your account must not read more than this. Uh, your, your account must not exceed one of these. And there are people that uh, as you are watching you, you can flash back to what has, has been happening in your life. A particular amount uh, this where your, your money, you, your account account balance will get to. When, when, when you can see it's getting closer to that particular amount, before you know it will drop again. There are people that they, that they cannot have up to five hundred thousand in their account. There are people that not cannot have up to ten million, five you know, it's five million in their account because of the embargo because of the limitation you're going to pray and ask the lord oh lord god of heaven today i decree and i declare let every embargo over my finance be scattered let it be scattered
heart. Let it be scattered up. Be broken this morning. Be broken this afternoon. Be broken this very moment. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I decree, let every embargo over my finances be broken. Over my finances be broken. That is why at a particular point, because, because money has, has entered your account, different challenges will be, begin to come. And before your money is being spent to that particular limit that, that the enemy has planned, you're going to make a demand. Every witchcraft embargo, every satanic embargo, every occultic power manipulating your, your life, in the name of Jesus, be plotted. Uh, I plot to act by the name of Jesus. I plot uh, by the blood of Jesus. I plot uh, I wipe you out in the name of Jesus. You love open your mouth and pray. Every embargo over your wife today, let it be broken. Every embargo over your children today, let it be broken. Every embargo over your bloodline today, let it be broken. Embargo over your loved one today, let it be broken. Embargo over your parents today, let it be broken. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. Number two, you're going to pray and ask the Lord. Every mark and every sin. The, the Lord was speaking concerning the children of Israel in, in, in Goshen. He said, I, he said, when I see the blood, I will pass over. He said, he said and you shall take the blood and, 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 and rub it on the litter of your heart. That was the that was the mystery of marking. And the enemy took it from that place and began to use it to manipulate the children of God. You're going to pray and ask the Lord every mark of the enemy, mark of disfavor, mark of disfavor, mark of disapproval, mark of this uh, of disacceptance. People find it difficult to accept him. No matter your wisdom, no matter your skill, they find it difficult to accept him. They find it difficult to help him. Open your mouth and pray and ask God. Every mark from the pit of hair upon my life, I wipe them off today. I put the mark. Ah, Japa le Kopala. Apostle Paul understand that mystery. I say, Henceforth, let no man trouble me because I bear the mark of Christ. Christ upon me. Open your mouth and pray. I ask, oh Lord, today I reverse every negative mark. I reverse every negative mark over my children, every negative mark over my family, every negative mark over my life. I reject it today. I reverse it. I receive the mark of fire. I receive the mark of the mark of the blood. You see, when I see the blood, I shall pass over there. The blood shall be a perpetual mark upon me. And I decree to Today, every we, every wickedness of the wicked, every witchcraft mark, every witchcraft seal, every occultic power mark, every mark the enemy have put upon me. Today, I wipe it out by the blood of Jesus. I wipe it out by the blood of Jesus. I wipe it out by the blood of Jesus. I wipe it out by the blood of Jesus. Over my wife, I wipe it out. Over my husband, I wipe it out. Over, are you praying that prayer, beloved? Be serious about this prayer as you journey in the second, the first half of the year has gone without anything tangible to prove to show. May the second half of the year must not end that way. That is why the Holy Spirit are directed that way to reshape the second half of the year. Open your mouth and pray and ask the Lord, Oh God of heaven, let every 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 strange mark, mark of the wicked, mark of satanic mark, occultic mark, or my body, on oh my body, let it be partial, let it be battle, let it be plotted out, 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 let it be plotted out. There are some people they put the mark of madness on you, and when people see you, all oh, what they see, they say, ah. This man look like a madman. Open your mouth and pray. Every evil mark, every evil mark, I reject it today. Over my children, I reject it today. Over my wife, I reject it today. Over my loved one, I reject it today. Over my body, I reject it today. Whatever that is not of God, whatever mark that is not of God, today, let it be wiped out by the blood of the Lamb. Let me wipe out by the In Colossians chapter 2, verse 8, 14, 
the blotting at the handwriting of the wicked. Lord, we declare, let every handwriting of the wicked upon our life and upon our loved ones, we wipe out, we blot it out today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, blessed man. Lastly, we are going to pray. We are going to tell the Lord, Oh Lord, every evil garment that is upon me, every evil garment that is upon me, that make my helper, my helper to hate me, every evil garment upon me, the garment of spiritual madness, the garment of spiritual wretchedness, the garment of spiritual good. You are, you are good spiritual. People are seeing and looking at you that you are very good, but physically you are suffering. And people are supposed to help you. Understand? There is no need of helping this man. It's look. Good. It's even looking good than myself. And this is a testimony that we have heard over the time. Somebody is suffering, is suffering, and somebody is, ah, help me, please. Come and help me. The one that is, is crying for help. And people look at ah, you don't. You don't, you don't need help. You don't need them. You should be the one asking you for help. That is negative garment. Garment from the pit of hell. Garment from the fish, from, from the from the, from the witch covenant. Garment from the occultic garden. You're going to make a demand. Oh, Lord God of heaven today. Every negative garment, every wrong garment that is upon me, today I set it up by fire. Let this garment be set up by fire. Let it be set up. On fire, let it be set on fire, let it be set on fire by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it be set up on fire. I set it on fire. I set every evil garment on me on fire. Garment of disfavor, garment of hatred, garment of not acceptance, garment of of, of, of rejection. Ah, I read. Um, garment of rejection be set on fire. When, the garment of rejection, fire. Garment of, of, of reproach, fire. Garment of disfavor, fire. Garment of hatred, fire. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we declare that we set them on fire. I set them on fire. This morning, this moment, this afternoon, this particular time. Oh, I set for beloved, open your mouth and pray. It may be morning, it may be afternoon, it may be a night, in wherever you are. Oh, the, 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 the point remains. Remain the same pray and ask the Lord. Every negative garment, every garment that is not of God, whatever that is not of God, in me, Father, let it be up. Let it be set away. I pull them off. I pull them off. I pull them off. In the name of Jesus. There are people who they put negative garment upon them. No matter their qualification, they find it difficult to have a job. Because somebody is brilliant with good certificate, but because that negative garment is upon, upon that person, they will find it difficult to find a job. Because when you go for an interview, they will never see you good enough to give you the job because of that negative garment of failure that is on you. You're going to make a demand, garment of rejection. Uh, Shabaga Bakaida, Ranano Kubaraka, Zapela Tadaba, Rafet of Enough is Enough, and how long will it be laboring? So, some people that graduated from school with, with good grade for five years, ten years, still seeking for job, and the job cannot come. You see, you see somebody that was written yesterday, just a few months ago from the school, and he's even having a lesser grade than you, and for you know, the job comes, open your mouth and ask the Lord, Oh Lord, I set on fire every I mark I just saw a max Somebody is being marked like a masquerade. Somebody is being marked. There's a mask on you. There's a garment on you. Ah, shabi la kalia. Who kupara la kati? Rafi kuto zapa. Shabi la kati. Luku atata kati. Shabi te kati. E kupara kaido. Shabi la kukupo. There are some people because of that garment that is on you. You are looking so scary. People are running away from you. Oh God of heaven, I declare fire. Fire, fire, fire from the throne room, fire from the throne room, fire from the room, consume those garments, those garments, those masquerade garments on you, consume those negative garments, consume those chains on your hand, on your leg, consume from today you are delivered from every satanic bondage, in the name of Jesus, thank you Father. 
We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Lastly, before we run up, pray that prayer again from, 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 from pray at every limitation, every embargo be broken. Pray and ask the Lord, every sin, satanic mark on you be wiped out. But pray again, lastly, and ask the Lord, oh Lord, I set on fire every negative garment, every wrong garment upon me. I set it on fire. I set it on fire. I break loose on our side. I break loose on our side. Now I bear the mark of Christ. And now I bear the mark of Christ. And henceforth let no man trouble me. Yape la kutskapala. La fete tepe la tola. Ekota kamina kopa. Henceforth let no man trouble me. Because I bear the mark of Christ upon me. Thank you Father. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate him. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor because he has answered. Eshami la tabala kube. Jalete gadandra mendo zoveana. He kupa katrus that garment is set on fire. The limitations have been taken off. The seal is wiped out by the blood of the Lamb. Now you bear the mark of Christ and effort no man trouble you anymore. In the name of Jesus. Father, we want to appreciate you. For what you have done for us this moment. Lord, thank you because the limitations are broken. According to what we say, we shall break forth on our side. That is our testimony from this moment. I will ask of you every seal of the wicked, mark of the wicked, we wipe it out. Because from now and forth, we bear the mark of Christ upon us. And Lord, we ask of you, Lord, we ask of you, we put on now the garment of favor, we put on now the garment of acceptance. Uh, we put on the garment of help. We put on the garment of, of greatness upon us now in the name of Jesus. Lord, and as we journey throughout this week, and as we journey throughout this month, and as we journey throughout the second half of the year, Lord, your, your manifold manifestation of power will be revealed in our life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, blessed be name. But because henceforth, no man, no woman, no witches, no narcotic no power, no satanic hold, no marine power, no principality. We're able to, to hold us down, trouble us anymore, because we bear the mark of Christ upon us. Thank you, Adonai, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, beloved. And the Lord keep you. As you join in this week, the Lord keep you and the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. And may the Lord be gracious unto you and the Lord cause you to break forth on all sides. The blessings of the Lord be with you. Thank you and have a blessed day.